Meet an adult's home alone, you might think. Or, let's rework this a bit, while downplaying the horror side of a story and elevating the comedy of Home Alone, this is, I guess, more of a mixture. Meet, don't breathe, in Christmas. <laughs> That's what I would call this movie. I don't know for sure. It has a thriller undercurrent, and when you read the plot, though Stephen Lang in that movie was in the house, this case, Santa doesn't live in the house, he comes through the chimney, but either way, he comes to protect the property from a group of mercenaries. Sound familiar? Again, if you've never seen Don't Breathe, one or two, um, and you're a thriller fan, I would highly recommend the mo those movies. They're intense watches, but they are very rewarding. Really well done thriller films, both rounds. While I would kind of like a Christmas film that would dive more into the horror side and be good. I had this impression of Black Christmas, the Blumhouse remake, and that failed spectacularly. It was a stupid movie. Very disappointing, too, because the marketing for it was excellent. Violet Night sounds very entertaining. David Harbour's leading the cast. I'm a big fan. Let's give this a look. Maybe you're not familiar. It's a Universal's uh, Pictures release, I believe. This is what the general premise is, according to IMDb again. I've already given you a general baseline to see the cur the uh, parallel with Don't Breathe, but if you want more information and specifics, this is what they have to say. When a group of mercenaries attack the estate of a wealthy family, Santa Claus must step in to save the day and Christmas. Again, Don't Breathe mixed with Home Alone. I think it's a great idea. Very creative. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but I read the synopsis. I'm like, you know what? I liked both counts. Let's see a mixture. And let's have a very original release. I mean, even if, again, it's maybe not necessarily down the territory of horror. This is like maybe more along the lines of a, a thriller, dark comedy movie. I think it's fun. Sounds inviting. David Harbour's an immediate pull. I'm going to go ahead and queue up the trailer. We can enjoy this for ourselves, especially on a first impression. I'm at the very least tempted to give it a go. You ain't driving either. I steer a little, but the reindeer do my sword. <laughs> this is my full. So again, unlike Don't Santa. Breathe, he's not in the I house. I started the whole damn thing. Oh, oh, oh! It's rated R, by the way, so you know it's gonna be an intense watch. Not for families. We decided that you could Which might make it more enjoyable. Early. What is it? That is a direct hotline of Santa Claus himself. I can talk to Santa! All right, Revelers. You didn't want to speak to Santa, though? Welcome to your worst Christmas ever. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> you have $300 million in your personal vault. That's what I want for Christmas. This is gonna change quickly, I can already tell. I don't want any trouble, okay? So he's gonna scooch up that chimney. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? There's some promise by those pictures too, so. <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> Daddy said you were very busy tonight. <laughs> My name's Trudy Are you gonna help us, Santa? Yeah, Trudy. Santa? No, my nice list. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> you know what? This is effective. It's a black Christmas marketing. It reinvents the entire holiday. Who the hell are you? Boss, what if he really is the real? No! Such thing as Santa. Yeah! These bad men, they're all my naughty <laughs> Naughty. But of course they are. That's naughty! And what do you do to All out of milk and cookies and murder. <laughs> Where is it? I gotta watch. I believe in you, Santa. <laughs> Oh. Which one of you did that, Prancer? So unprofessional. I like it. And again, when you're stressing the credits of uh, Bullet Train and Nobody, I haven't looked into who the filmmakers are behind this. Maybe I should give that a look because I still have the IMDb page pulled up. Uh, maybe they're not names I'd recognize. I don't know exactly. Uh, oh, Josh Miller looks familiar. He's one of the writers. I didn't realize, by the way, John Leguizamo's in this. 
I think it's funny. Again, it's like the whole idea, it, it's, you know, don't breathe, except Santa has to come in for the chimney and then, you know, basically play the Stephen Lang role. And if Harry and Marv brought guns... <laughs> I mean, Kevin, again, like I said, it's perfect. How Home Alone meets Don't Breathe. I think it's a great idea with putting an entire twist on Santa and suddenly, oh, he's got a very dark side. <laughs> and David Harbour can certainly play that up well. It's a very enjoyable film. I mean, like seeing a lot of these tricks played out. I mean, again, you have so much fun watching Home Alone, but if you want a more intense version, rather than, you know, trying to remake it, not faring so well as that recent uh, Home Alone movie discovered. I think this is fantastic and for fans of both those properties especially home alone want a way to see the tale in a new light this movie's going to give it to you i think there's a lot of potential for this release it'll be fun christmas fair for sure i am easily game loved it very entertaining i would love to hear what your thoughts are down below maybe you agree with me maybe you disagree i don't know but again like i said if you've never seen don't breathe this is quite a christmas twist with more of an elevation of comedy but that is that's such a literally killer <laughs> Uh, thriller film, I would highly recommend it. it it's just, it's top-notch for me. I, I was so entertained by it. But Mixing Now with Home Alone, sweet spot. It works so well. Let me know what your opinion, though, on, is, on it will be down below. I'm geared. I want something original for Christmas time this season, and 100% Violent Night is that. I want to be in the theater immediately when this releases on December 2nd, and it's actually releasing in Christmas season, not early, thank goodness. Everything else comes out, I mean, the advertisements, of course, come out way in acceleration, but it's like, you know, this is actually releasing in the season of Christmas, it's not, okay, we're going to release this the first week of November, <laughs> when it's like, but we're not even to the holiday yet, not even to Thanksgiving, anyway, I think it looks good, I'll definitely try and make an effort to be in the theaters, I'm sure many of you probably will too, if you had the same experience that I did, perfect trailer, fun, enjoyable, adult, savage twist on the holiday and what's familiar i love it it's a lot of fun thank you so much for watching this video before you bounce feel free to drop a like and comment subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell and share this video with your friends and consider checking out the description here there you'll find links to my other channels as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined may god bless you and looking forward to when our paths cross again